rights and duties of citizens fine my dear children india the largest democratic country has got in its constitution the fundamental rights and the fundamental duties my dear children the founding fathers of the constitution were aware of the need to protect the basic rights of every citizen in our country they foresaw the autocratic governments violating the fundamental rights coming heavily upon the peoples and taking away their rights hence they provided the fundamental rights in part 3 of the constitution the same way they have also included fundamental duties duties and rights are the two sides of the same coin duties without rights will lead to slavery and rights without duties will lead to anarchy hence the fundamental fathers the founding fathers of the constitution have included the fundamental duties in the year 1976 through the amendment 42nd amendment and we can see it in part 4 of the constitution it is given in part 4a dear children besides this the constitution also provides how a government must move how a government must ensure the welfare of the people it has given the guidelines how it must work for the welfare how it must work for ensuring the protection of the people safeguarding their rights and duties and this is given in a special part called four and this part is called directive principle in this lesson we will be learning the fundamental rights fundamental duties and the directive principles let's first take the fundamental duties part 3 of the indian constitution enshrines certain fundamental rights for its citizens here we have the fundamental rights right to equality in article 14 to 18 and we have right to freedom article 19 to 22 right against exploitation which we find in article 23 and 24 right to religious freedom is found in article 25 and 26 cultural and educational rights are found in article 29 and 30 right to constitutional remedy is found in article 32 dear children what are these fundamental rights for these rights are for safeguarding the basic birth rights of the citizen of every country india being a democratic country ensures these basic rights to be protected by at our cost let's have a vivid glance one by one right to equality this right to equality tells that every person born on the soil of india is equal irrespective of caste creed religion or whatever be the background right to freedom if the freedom refers to the freedom of speech freedom of expression freedom to own land freedom to buy lands and freedom to be as a person wants to be under the framework of the constitution let's move to third one right against exploitation nobody is a slave in a democratic country if a person exploits a citizen the citizen has the right to file a case against the exploiter which is called right against exploitation and it is found in the article 23 and 24 if we move to the next one it is right to religious freedom religion plays a major role in shaping a person's life indian constitution guarantees this right a person can choose any religion of his or her choice no government can force a person to follow a particular religion the next right is cultural and educational rights india a home to 29 states and a home of more than 1500 languages here 
the constitution of india guarantees that people belonging to different cultures have got their own rights they can follow the culture celebrate their culture and they can develop the culture no person on the earth has the right to sub subdue people in the name of culture here also we have the educational rights a person from kanyakumari to kashmir can move any part of the country and pursue education no but person can deny the fundamental right of education the right to education has become the fundamental right very recently in the year 2009 in article 21a under which a person from age 5 to 14 has got the right to free and compulsory education my dear children this cultural and education rights make a person precious in the country let's move to the constitutional remedies what do you mean by constitutional remedies the constitution was written in the year 1950 it came into effect in 1950 we keep changing rules keep changing the world keeps changing we have to travel with time we have to think with time here the constitution needs to be changed and here a citizen has got the right to move the supreme court the high court or any judicial department for the amendment this is called right to constitutional remedies he can go to the court and ask for the constitutional remedies he can ask for the court to change the any rule which is outdated which is obsolete which is out of time The founding fathers of the Indian Constitution were conscious of the need to recognize the basic rights of people and to protect these rights from the onslaughts of the transitory aggressions of the executive and legislative wings of the government. A constitutional guarantee to such fundamental rights becomes indispensable for keeping the democratic spirit of the state. Hence, the makers of the constitution consciously included a separate chapter as part 3 for enumerating the fundamental rights. In the same way, rights if not associated with responsibilities are likely to lead to licentiousness and indiscipline hence in 1976 through the 42nd amendment a separate chapter as part 4a was inserted in the constitution which enumerates the fundamental duties of citizens the constitution makers also wanted to constitutionally indicate to the rulers their duties towards their people by way of enlisting the prospective objectives of their governance such constitutionally indicated objectives or directives to the governments are enshrined as directive principles in part 4 of the constitution these three parts that is 3 4 and 4a together constitute the basis of a democratic welfare state in india fundamental rights part 3 of the indian constitution from article 12 to article 35 enshrines certain rights known as fundamental rights which are classified as under the following heads right to equality article 14 to article 18 right to freedom article 19 to article 22 right against exploitation article 23 to article 24 right to freedom of religion article 25 to article 28 cultural and educational rights article 29 to article 30 and right to constitutional remedies article 
right to equality. The state should ensure that every person is equal before law and all are equally protected by law. In order to establish equality, the constitution prescribes non-discrimination between citizens. Article 15 Equality of opportunity for all in matters of public appointment. Article 16 Abolition of untouchability. Article 17 And abolition of all titles except military and academic distinctions. Article 18 Right to freedom. Article 19 of our Constitution guarantees six freedoms to all its citizens. Freedom of speech and expression. Freedom to assemble peacefully without arms. Freedom to form association or unions. Freedom of movement throughout the territory of India. Freedom to reside and settle in any part of the territory of India and freedom to practice any profession or to carry on any occupation, trade or business. Article 20 of the Constitution prohibits arbitrary imprisonment of any person. No person shall be prosecuted and punished for the same crime more than once. No one would be compelled to give self-incriminating evidence. Article 21 of the Constitution establishes the right of life and personal liberty to all people. Nobody shall be deprived of his life or personal liberty except according to procedure established by law. Article 22 of the Constitution prohibits the state from arbitrarily arresting any person. This article provides safeguards to people from arbitrary arrest. People who are arrested shall have the right to be informed about the reasons for the arrest, to consult a legal practitioner, to be produced before a magistrate within 24 hours of arrest. Right against exploitation Article 23 of the Indian Constitution prohibits traffic in human beings and forced labour system. This article prohibits slavery, traffic in women or children or crippled persons for immoral purposes like prostitution or begging. Article 24 prohibits any child below the age of 14 from working in dangerous, hazardous employment like mining. Right to freedom of religion The Indian constitution observes an attitude of neutrality and impartiality towards all religions. Since India is a secular state, it is founded on the idea that the state is concerned with relation between man and man and not with relation between man and God. Article 25 of the Constitution ensures freedom of conscience and freedom to profess, practice and propagate religion of one's choice. Article 26 of the Constitution guarantees the right to establish and maintain institutions for religious or charitable purposes. Article 27 of the Constitution guarantees the citizen the freedom from payment of taxes for the promotion or maintenance of any particular religion. Article 28 of the Constitution prohibits religious instruction or worship in any educational institution 
other than religious institution maintained out of state funds cultural and educational rights article 29 of the constitution protects the rights of minorities to safeguard their distinct language script or culture article 30 of the constitution grants rights to minorities to establish and administer educational institutions right to constitutional remedies article 32 of the constitution grants the right to move the supreme court by appropriate writ for enforcement of rights conferred by the constitution the supreme court or high court has the power to issue writs or orders in the nature of habeas corpus mandamus prohibition certiorari and co warranto whichever may be appropriate right to education guaranteed under act 21a based on this a new act of 2009 guarantees free and compulsory education to children below the age of 6 to 14 free and compulsory education